Hello, welcome to I Teach I Learn. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, uh, I post videos on Montessori and about activities that you can do at home with your children. In the Montessori primary environment, you have children who are as young as 2.5 and as old as 6. So when a child is slowly transitioning from the primary to the elementary environment, which is for 6 to 12 year olds, there's a lot of science activities that are also introduced. Of course, you can even introduce this earlier around the age of 4 if they are between the age group of 3 to 9. So today is all about activities for 3 to 6 year olds. At the end of this video, you will find 5 activities that you can do at home with very minimal resources. So what are these activities all about? It's about science. The child may not be able to understand very abstract concepts or concepts which require a lot of imagination. Uh, a case in point was when my friend asked her three-year-old, where does this river start? And she pointed it out of a geography book. And the three-year-old looked at the book and said, from this corner. <laughs> so children need to develop their imagination skills. But what children love to know more about is the world around them and we introduce the world around them through names. Names and nouns are very, very old in our civilization. So let us introduce more names through something we call as the nomenclature material. The nomenclature material or may, many people of course call it as the three-part cards. These materials help the little child work with new concepts and words in a very hands-on manner as opposed to just trying to write it out on a worksheet or maybe read it from a textbook and the beauty of the material is that it allows for even a three-year-old or a 2.5 year old to work with it initially then a writing child around four and a half to five to start writing with it and then a six-year-old who is actually very good at reading can work with the material in a different manner so what is this nomenclature material well the three-part card has three parts as the name suggests there will be one control chart with the picture that you're trying to uh, introduce to the child along with the name. So this picture can be anything. It can be anything in, from your kitchen. It can be the parts of an animal. It can be the stages of, uh, of a life cycle. Anything and everything which can be given a name and forms a part of a set can be introduced to the child. They are in the sensitive period for language, so the more that you introduce to them in the, in the form of words and associating it with pictures, the more that's going to go, out, go inside their brains. So the first part, as I mentioned, was a control chart where there will be a picture and the name of the picture. Say you're doing parts of a frog, you will have uh, the hind legs marked out clearly in a very uh, basic picture of a frog with the uh, name written below as hind legs. There will also be another card, the second part, which is just the picture without the name. And this part will also have, it will be identical to the picture that was there on the control chart. That is very important. So on this picture, there will be no name, but the same hind legs will be marked in a red color or just highlighted with the color of the picture. So try to get very simple images, you'll find them online but uh, even a hand-drawn image which was how it was in intended to be initially will work. So the third part would be the name slip which has an identical handwriting as the one on the control chart. And why do I say identical pictures and handwriting? Because for a 2.5 year old or 3 year old who is working on their visual discrimination, such an activity can just start out as a matching activity. So they have to match the pictures and they have to match the name slips based on what's written. For a slightly older child who is being introduced to letters and the sandpaper letters in particular, they can start looking at the starting letters and see if they're able to match the name slips next to the correct one. And it, as the teacher, you don't have to correct, you're just allowing this visual discrimination to happen in a different way. And uh, you're also introducing culture, which is nothing but biology, science and everything else. As I mentioned before, when the child reaches around four and a half or five, they can start looking at the first control card, which has the picture and the name and realize that anything and everything has a name and can be this name can be written with letter and they can probably copy it down on paper and just 
practice copy writing but also learn new things at the same time when they start reading when they when they showing signs of reading they can now match uh, put away the control card match the name slips to the isolated picture themselves and once they're done they can check their work with a control card and see if they've done it themselves so there's no need for the adult to step in in any of these activities just introduce it to the child and there you go the nomenclature cards the three part cards work for the child from the age of 2.5 all up till the age of 6 and of course as they grow older these cards really provide some hands on information in the forms of definitions which can be introduced and the work just goes on so it's a lovely material i encourage you to try out these materials at home yourself but you've got a lot of other activities that you can do around science around physics chemistry and biology and those five activities are in this video please do try out these activities and i want to know if you really love these activities as well because trying them out with your child will make me happy <laughs> and it will also encourage me to bring out more videos Uh, on that note let me see you in another video soon bye check out the activities